In this example, we are going to figure out the dollar weighted average return of a particular investment. So in this investment, we are going to invest $1,000 at the beginning of the year for the next three years. Over those years, our, our um, investment is going to have a 10% return, a negative 3% return, and a 6% return. So on a timeline, what this is going to look like is like this. So we've got our time periods and we're going to contribute a thousand dollars at the beginning of each year. And then at year three, we're going to have some amount of money. Now over this period, our portfolio is going to grow at 10%. Over this period, we're going to actually lose 3%. And then over this period, our portfolio is going to grow at 6%. And what we want to do um, is to figure out this dollar weighted average return. So to do that calculation, I've set up this table right here, and it's going to help organize our calculations. So at the beginning of, uh, of each period, we're going to have a cash flow into our portfolio. Another way of saying a cash flow into our portfolio is a cash flow out of our pocket. So we are going to be contributing $1,000 each year for those first three years into the portfolio. Now that portfolio's returns is going to be 10%, negative 3%, and then 6%. So in this last column, we're going to find the portfolio value at the end of the year. So uh, when we first started off, it's fairly straightforward. We contributed $1,000 to our portfolio. That portfolio value grew by 10%. And so at the end of the year, our portfolio had a value of $1,100. Now over the next year, we're going to contribute $1,000 at the beginning of the year, but our portfolio started off at a value of 1100. That's what was already inside of it. So we've got that $1,100 from the previous year. Then we add $1,000 to our portfolio. And over this year, our portfolio is going to actually lose 3%. And so at the end of that year, our portfolio is going to have a value of $2,037. Now we do this one more time because we are going to contribute a thousand dollars to our portfolio. We have $2,037 already in there. And over the year, the portfolio is going to grow at 6%. So at the end of year, uh, year two, beginning of year three, we're going to have a total portfolio value of $3,219.22. Oops, let me fix that because it grew at 6%. So 1 plus 0 0.06. And that is going to equal $3,219.22. So to figure out the dollar uh, weighted average return, we're going to crutch on a concept from corporate finance called the internal rate of return or IRR. And the idea here is we are going to have three cash outflows. So negative a thousand, negative a thousand, negative thousand. And then um, we can pretend that we close out our portfolio or we sell our portfolio and then have a cash inflow into our pocket. And that cash inflow would be the value of our portfolio of $3,219.22. Notice that that cash flow is a positive cash flow. So cash flow out, cash flow out, cash flow out, cash flow in. Um, so, uh, if you remember, IRR is something that you need a financial calculator for or Excel. There's not a formula. And so if you were going to do this in Excel, you would do IRR or equals IRR and then the parentheses. 
And then you're going to have not some actual brackets, but you're going to highlight the cells which contain all these cash flows. Now, you also need to be able to do this in a financial calculator if you're taking my course and uh, you need to do this on exam. But I, the IRR function in Excel is very, very helpful. When you do that, you're going to find that the IRR of this uh, pattern of cash flows is 3.57%, and that is the dollar value, um, yeah, the dollar weighted average return.